last time in Adventures in Upgrading the TiVo Tarantula. I picked up a MOSFET so I could install it on the TiVo Tarantula. Next thing I need to do is to design a bracket to mount this. So I went to Tinkercad and I designed a bracket. Easy peasy, right? So let the TiVo Tarantula upgrade itself by printing out this bracket. And thankfully enough, everything printed to spec. There was no problems getting the MOSFET installed on said bracket. Next thing I got to do is install the bracket. That's where the fun began. Okay, guys, so we're finally getting around to getting this taken care of. Now, as you can see, it's still kind of a spaghetti looking mess, but I'm going to be cleaning a lot of that up today. Oh, at least, hopefully, I will be. So, what I want to do is to raise this, this whole setup up so I can place the MOSFET underneath. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the wires from here because I'm going to put sleeving on all this. Okay, so that gets the board up. Now the question is, will my bracket fit in the T-slot? <laughs> so what I did... I've got uh, found two of the bolts. There were extra bolts for the for the printer, and then looks like that hole's a little bit snug, so I have to run it through. Um, then what I'm going to use is a lock washer along with it, and drive these through the plate. There we go. Have it right. Yep, it fit. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take it right to there. I think that'll be fine. That works. Cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the board. I'm going to place it with the connectors down because I'd rather have the connectors facing downward than to have them pointed up. Okay, that fits on there. Next thing are going to be these little pieces here. I really should test the board out first, but I'm relatively sure it's going to work. All I'm doing is I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver and running out the very end here. Because the uh, way I printed it, there's kind of a little ledge there. Okay, now press the cap onto the pig. I'm going to have to push it on a little bit harder here in a moment. Let's just go ahead and get another one put on. There we go. That one went on further. I have to get on that side and see if I got it on there completely straight here in a moment. I got the camera between me and where I need to be. <laughs> that worked out perfectly on that one. Okay. That. So that's going on nicely. How come this one didn't go on so nice? I might have to take it back off and clean it or something. Or I just didn't have it straight. There. That's solid. That board is nice and solid on there. Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and go from there and start getting the wiring done. Now what I'm wanting to do... I want to run the fan wires. I want to run this wire and this other fan wire. I want to run all that through some sleeving if I can. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add some more wire. So 
what I went did is I went over to AutoZone and I picked up some 10 gauge primary wire and I'm going to run a new set of wires from the power supply over here to the MOSFET and by going with 10 gauge that should be more than enough to carry the current to that heated bed and upon further thought I think what I might do rather than to carry the little fan wires all the way to the power supply I think I will just carry those down to the MOSFET to the main feed wires coming into it and then that way I can cut those wires off a little bit shorter and not have as much hanging out there okay so the next thing I need to do and another thing I picked up at AutoZone were these speed connectors so I'm going to go ahead and go with the yellow ones that's going to be the largest ones in the package Now, so that everybody will know, I do have the power turned off to the power supply, so there's no, no chance of getting electrocuted with this. Got it unplugged. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and connect the positive and negative wires. Okay, and if you're like me and you got the wrong size connectors, you might have to go and take them to a... <laughs> take it out to the grinder and uh, take down a little bit of it so it'll fit. Hopefully this will now slide into its place. Yeah, definitely go with the right size connectors. <laughs> those are awful skinny ones. I did not see those anywhere at the store. Okay, now that I'm happier with that, Next thing I want to do is I want to take some sleeving and throw over those wires. There we go. So now that we've got that, I know that these two wires here are my power wires that I was using originally. So those go go back up to the main board. These two wires are going to go down here to the MOSFET. So I'm going to take the speed connectors I've already ground down, put those on here. Same thing to the positive side. There we go. And I know I've been told time and time again to put ferrules on these, but the wires, from what I could tell, barely fit up into it anyway. So, especially after dealing with the heated bed, it uh, definitely taught me that the lugs or the the ferrules are not the way to go, because it did not want to bite down on that ferrule at all. Okay, so now that we have these, I need to put those down there, which means I got to adjust my stuff over here. Now, this one does not say which one goes where. So, 
It does say hot and it says bed, so I'm going to guess this is negative, this is positive, the same as what is there. I'm going to guess that's what it is. You know what? I need to test that before I do it. So what I'm going to do first is take my wire that comes with the MOSFET. I'm going to strip off a little bit more of it. And I'm going to go ahead. Does it have a positive and a negative? Just trying to see if there's a positive and a negative on this uh, for this portion of it, and I do not see it. I'm going to guess it doesn't matter. We'll find out shortly. It doesn't matter which way. Okay, so that is what I need to know. So now I gotta figure if I can salvage this uh, piece up here. Now, yesterday when I was printing this bracket down here, that was when I ran into the problem of the this side of it has started to kind of melt. So I don't know if I still have the ability of using the slug, so we'll find out here shortly. That's going to be a no. That screw is locked up. So what I may have to do is take this board off and desolder that, that piece and just solder my wires into the board. I think that might be my best bet. Uh, unless I can figure out another way of doing it. Let me try a different screwdriver and see if there's by ch any chance a different screwdriver might grab it better. So now that I've got the board off, let's take a look at the damage here. Is that right there? That's what happened to it. So this idea about the ferrules take and fix all the problems in the world, no they don't, unfortunately. Okay, so thankfully on the back here it's labeled heated bed, so let's go ahead and get a soldering iron heated up and take that off. Go behind there. I <laughs> see that. That's what bugs me. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.